We're gonna get Joe back and engaged in this video because we're talking about Japan. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Yay! I hate Japan, don't you know? Oh, <laughs> don't you know? Make this guy happy. Interesting thing I is, we talked Japan. about this same topic yesterday, but with South Korea. Mm -hmm. I love Korea. With Japan, okay? Japan's Naked Man Festival is ending after more than a thousand years of tradition, and it's because of the population decline. There's not enough what? naked men? Wait, there's wait, not enough. Wait, not, no, they're just not the, in the mood. It's not because of woke ass motherfuckers going like, let's get rid of this tradition. Oh, woke wokeism hasn't hit Japan yet. Wait, so what's the Naked Man Festival? Animal. So this Naked Man Festival, um, I think it was also in Blue Light Samurai. Do you remember that random scene? Oh. Okay, so basically in this area in Japan, uh, the Somin Sai Festival, aka the Naked Man Festival, involves hundreds of loincloth clad men gathering at the Koku Sek. Kiji, Kokusekiji Temple in Oshu, nailed it, uh, to wrestle for ownership of a bag of talismans blessed by the temple's chief priest. So they wrestle. Just a festival that's been happening literally for over a thousand years. A thousand years. Why yeah. stop it? I like traditions like that. No one's going. <laughs> but population is so declining in the area. Damn. <laughs> He's, <wrestling. laughs> yeah. He's like the guy that, that wrestles the snake in the sock. <laughs> <laughs> this dates more than a thousand years. It's held annually on the seventh day of the Lunar New Year. Daigo Fujinami is the chief priest oh, yeah. of the Koku Sekiji Temple, announced Ooh, that this year's festival, here. which was held two Saturdays ago or whatever, was the facility's last. Ooh, not enough. Why there's not enough population? people to participate or not enough people to facilitate? Quote, this decision is due to the aging of individuals involved in the festival and a shortage of successors. Oh, it's because oh. young people are like, that shit's lame, bro. Just, just I don't want to fucking ride, run around in G-strings all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's they hard failed, to get guys They to failed to sell it, basically. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of shit like that, though. It's sad. There's a lot. You know how, like, um, there's an apprentice culture there? Yeah. So, out there, mandatory education, I think it's like 13 or 14. Because the average 14-year-old is already smarter than a collegiate, like, graduate here in America. Oh, true. So, like, um... You, you could take an apprentice route. Feel attacked. <laughs> From 14, you could... You know how, like, Geo Dreams of Sushi, he had all those little bitches working for him? Yeah. All the little bitches. Why? So, you can you can get a job, you can start working, and it's a lot of, like, trades jobs, yeah. too. Like, skilled jobs, like... But also, you could become, like, an apprentice for an artist or whatever, and then um, you could take that route. But a lot of people don't like doing that. Because, um, you know, the new generation just all over the world doesn't want to fucking, like, learn how to crack an egg for 10 years. It's it's brutal, right? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Like, the it, the first initial stages are not worth Yeah, you're mopping yeah. floors, you're, like, yeah. cleaning like the windows. Judo places, how they yeah, just make yeah. you clean it's the mats. Tough. Yeah. And then, like, to be honest, like, you, you, when you're done, you make, like, 30K a year for, like, 10 years. And then maybe one day you'll be good enough to open up your own studio, but it's brutal. Like small businesses out there, like you just don't make that much. Everyone there probably works like a couple of hours more than people here, but you make way less, you make like half. But they sleep in the middle of the day and close all their restaurants for no reason. Oh, yeah. Cause they lazy, no. Yeah. Is there's like really a, why? <laughs> no. There's like a tofu guy that, that was showing his day, like he, he wakes up at like three in the morning, fucking, does all this fucking labor yeah. and he makes tofu from scratch and he makes about 20 grand a year but the difference is their quality of life is good because like you don't need a car you it's cheap as fuck to rent a place like uh, your house like like if less than a grand you can get something pretty sick a nice apartment whatever food is uh, very cheap all this stuff right so it doesn't cost that much to exist but i think the issue is the towns outside of the two major cities, Tokyo and Osaka, they're all becoming ghost towns. So there's no ecosystem. So then everybody's moving to the major two big cities and then no one's, everyone wants to work for companies or whatever, or Gen Z doesn't want to work at all. And then you have like the population decline and then you don't have that many people being successors of the crafts. So whether you're family business that you had for like 300 years is dying out or whatever you're doing from ceramics to like whatever those skilled professions are dying out too so i don't know maybe it's just all around everything's dying out but what's growing is anime 
weebs moving to the country, dirty underwear vending machines. It's just changing from naked man and G-string to like AI fuck robots or something. I think that's what's what's changing. It says right here, yeah, Japan's changing to AI fuck robots. <laughs> that's the new festival. Yeah. That'd be a cool festival. I just saw a yeah, recruitment video too. That's a wild festival. <laughs> there was this video right now, it's pretty funny. This guy goes, Indian, if you have a visa, Indian student, please come to Japan and study. That's a guy? Yeah, he was saying that. And in the comments, it's all these Indians saying, don't come here, they're so racist. Oh, don't, I yeah. don't ever fucking work in Japan. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah, I live yeah. in Japan for X amount of years, don't come here. Yeah. Japan probably is like one of the most politely racist like places <laughs> on the planet. Probably. Politely racist? Yeah. It's like, no offense, man, but. <laughs> Who are they mostly racist to? Never Other Japanese that, guys that are not <laughs> from Japan. <laughs> My brother worked, um, he was born there. And then like, I think in like 10 or 12 years old, he came to the States, right? Grew up here. And then after college, after all this stuff, he was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna probably like work in Japan, travel around and like, it's like get connected to my roots and shit. So he had a job with Toyota. He went over there and then he's like, man, I'm an introvert. And like, I can do with very little, you know, friends and shit, but Japan's fucking sucks. And I'm like, why? And he's like, <laughs> It's hard to make friends here, dude. Like, it's so hard. Like, <laughs> everyone's already like, once you you grow up with your friends from junior high or whatever, you know? Yeah. You have your little clicks, and he goes, and that's it. Like, that's you it. don't, like, people drink after work, but that's still business. He what goes, about like the Cholo Saturdays? Yeah. Oh, dude, I would join one of those groups. I want to join the Rockabilly <laughs> Park. The Rockabilly <laughs> Park dudes. Yeah. You know, they're all misfits, though. They're not normal people. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people are like, so like, they're just getting made fun of in a way, huh? No, they're like, yeah, I mean, they're just... Society normally Yeah, they're just like, outcasts, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And a lot yeah. of them can be criminally connected, and they're just, like, different, yeah. you know? I think it's pretty interesting, though, that, like, Korea and Japan are both having a population problem. Like, I want to see who solves it better. Because yeah. they're, like... Well, that. Korea has a lot of... Like, the similar thing is that um, I'm hearing from all my friends that... Uh, there's this thing called like hoshi, which is like drinking with all your coworkers. That's like a big part mm -hmm. was a big part of Korean culture And now they're saying like the younger generation like no one goes out to drink anymore Whoa. Which changes the dynamic of you know, like all it makes yeah work nice way cultures. more corporate, oh, right? Wow. But they're also saying like the differences and I feel like I'm hearing like murmurs of this in America too which is in this like social media age like you getting like shit face drunk can be immortalized, mm. right? Think about all our moments where you're just like, but those are sometimes your best nights and good stories with yeah. your friends. But no one's recording. Yeah, yeah, but now if that happens, that's like so much shame that you feel and that's yeah. like imprinted for kids starting at middle school and high school. One kind of shameful moment and they're like, I'm never fucking doing that again. Forever, yeah. And that's baked into like this new culture where now I'm hearing from all my cousins in Korea and my friends that like, yeah, they don't party hard, younger generation. Does but that's not. happening in the states too. You know that? Yeah. Like less people are binge drinking drugs. Like it still happens, yeah. but not like our generation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're up in face. I woke up on the couch last night. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our generation. <laughs> they're saying like that's ant just anting. Gen Z, Gen Z and younger. <laughs> so we're bringing that in. They're <laughs> less sexually active too. Gen Z and younger. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a big one too, and it's happening worldwide and shit. But maybe they're what? just they're just smarter. Like maybe they just they're looking at hey, what fucked up, and then they're like, I don't want to fuck myself up. Like that's stupid. Yeah. You know how like when we was the kids and there was no social media, but everybody knew how to fucking take the video game out and blow into it everywhere yeah. around the world. And there's just like this weird interconnected yeah, like yeah. human experience. Is that like in any way related to a concept where same thing in like a weird uh, world way of healing itself? It's like we need to kill off a few of these human beings. So just like yeah. everybody socially just stops fucking or like doing. Gaia something. is controlling yeah. its population. <laughs> yeah, like the frequencies are just happening in such a way that like it seems like we're going backwards because people are about to die off like crazy. But then once it actually does happen, there's a weird self-correction that the world undertakes. I mean, hard to deny it if you have like men's sex drives low, sperm counts low, hella more gay people. Porn's <laughs> pretty good right now, but... <laughs> Porn's you know pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever seen the websites? They got a lot of selections. <laughs> I feel like it's porn, dude. I feel like everyone just... 
<laughs> just watches porn all the time. I think that's what it really is. Well, there's also like, well, I guess more recorded, more gay people than ever, more trans people. Yeah. You know, I'll say this, bro. If I was 17 and I had a hard time talking to girls and I could just jerk off and just that's it, I would probably just do that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if we're lucky we grew up in a time, we grew up in a time where we had to like go search for that stuff. Like nowadays, everything's so accessible where it's like, why would I go talk to this chick but, when I could just beat off? That's like out. going to Costco and just going and getting a sample of everything. Don't you want to buy the big box and eat that too? But sometimes like, it's too, for some of these people, I think <laughs> it's, too spicy. it's too scary to go do that. Oh. But I also feel like there's caution now with like the, like the super yeah. sane woke culture. Yeah. I also feel like the caution levels of like what's being disrespectful, the boundaries. Oh, I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's super no, baked yeah, into this younger true. generation on a different level. If I was single now, I wouldn't be talking to nobody. Yeah. I wouldn't cold conversation any yeah. girl. You wouldn't know how to engage. Yeah, you wouldn't know how you would rub some off uh, the wrong worth, way. It's not worth the, the trouble. Yeah. It just isn't. Yeah. But when you watch a porno, don't you want to do that in real life? But even with, so, of course. so using the porno example, that's across the board though. Like, you know, in your guys' uh, generation, you're talking about, you were a dancer, I want to meet another dancer. You have to go to real life. These days, yeah. people, they want to fish. Oh, I just watch fishing content. Mm, like, there's porn for yeah, every genre. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fitness, instead of finding like some guy I'm gonna lift with, I'll just, this is my best friend, I'm lifting yeah. with this guy now. Okay. So no one is really like going out and meeting no. everyone. Like, every genre has their own version of porno that's like, that's we're all true. fucking true. Off, we're all yeah. introverted. That's so true. true. Living yeah. vicariously yeah. through the vlogger. I think that's what it really yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, that's what Dr. Phil said. He's like, right at the advent of the mobile phone is when kids stopped living life and they started watching other people live yeah. life. Whoa. Like the. Remember crazy. when we were like when when watching people play video games was like a crazy concept to people our age because we we're like what the fuck why don't you just go play video yeah, games? Yeah, yeah. No, of course, <laughs> but like but now after a couple years removed, you're like, oh yeah, it's just a thing. We yeah, get it now. It's just yeah, what people totally. do. But like five years ago, we were like, what the fuck is wrong with you kids? Right, yeah. Go play the video games. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to do that. Anymore. They'd rather just watch. I always thought that yeah. all of those were advertisements of what it can be like. So if, uh -huh. if someone's like into Loom, I'm like. I want to go there and ride bikes too, and then it's like a it's like a precursor to what right. I can do, like a tourism bureau thing. Yeah, like yeah. oh, it's a food vlogger, and I'm like, right. oh, I'm gonna go to that restaurant one day, you know. Yeah. But then I can kind of see how if you have low self esteem, that is your access. Yeah. And now more than ever, we have low self esteem. Yeah, the AI is just a whole nother thing where you get to mold. Yeah. I feel like that's the next step, that's right? The nail that, in the coffin. <laughs> yeah, you watching someone else, but now like I want the thing that I'm watching to do this. Yeah. Like yeah. that's crazy, no, whether it's, it's porn, really whether it's. Yeah. That's really sad. All I'm saying is porn's real good right now. <laughs>